Hello. Um, so in this video, we'll see how to use PyOn in Angular unit testing. So uh, I already have some Angular code up here. As you can see, I have uh, in this app component three functions. Save data. It's the main function. It's uh, calling a calculate method. Calculate method calculates some data and returns the data and also sets the data to a, to a variable. Similarly, there's one more method, save config locally, uh, which uh, sets the configurations to a local variable. And then we have a service call where I'm making an API call, uh, which makes a post request that particular with the URL and the particular parameters. So uh, what we are going to do is we will see how like how to use spy on or like we'll see uh, what's the use of spy on uh, method while we do unit testing in our Angular code. So uh, I'll show you a couple of use cases for this thing. So I'll go to my uh, app component.spec.ts file here. Uh, already there's one default uh, test case. So we'll let it be there and create one more unit test case for calling the save data. Save data. So it's mostly used to spy. Spy means to like uh, keep a track of methods and just enter decide what to do with those methods. We using spy on we can like um, put in like some mock data and all. Uh, or maybe we can we can even stop the data. Stop in the sense like we can suppress that call. Or maybe we can um, make return some fake data. So let's see. Uh, we'll start by creating a fixture and an app instance. So we'll just copy it from the upper test cases. And now app dot uh, save data. That's the call uh, required to make the API to make the method call. So now when call goes to this particular method, so we are trying to test this particular flow. We are trying to test uh, that after the API call and all that this dot data thing it gets set. So here uh, this call uh, calculate thing and this things we can actually skip actually. So but when call goes to this particular method, what happens is it goes to this particular method also. So we can do a couple of things using spy. We can use spy to control these uh, method calls. So, so what I'm going to do is like, ideally when a call goes to this calculate method, it uh, calculates some stuff and returns the data. So what I'll do is, um, I'll maybe put in some default value for this thing so that this call doesn't go. That is simply a use case. Uh, requirements may requirements. It's simply a use case. So your requirement might be a bit different. It's just to show how to use Python. So what I'll do is I'll call the method like Python and pass the app to it and put in calculate here and let do an and. So we have options like this to stub and all. So what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll return a particular value. So ideally it returns some calculations. So here we will return a value like 1000. So what happens is the call doesn't go through. It doesn't make a call, it actually uh, controls this method and returns a 1000. So that's how we use Python. That's one use case of uh, Python. Now other use cases like uh, as you can see here, we have this method called save config locally. So while in testing this particular method, we are not really bothered about like what really this thing does. All we are bothered about is like uh, once the API call goes through, this dot data is uh, set and all. So we can kind of suppress this call, like stop this call. So what we'll do is we'll write another spy on, pass app, and inside um, we have save config locally and uh, put an and and dot. We have an option called stop. So it doesn't really make the call to happen. So we wrote spy ons for two methods here. Now the other one is like the API call. So here, as you can see, this call goes to the service call. So uh, ideally, this goes to the API and all. So while unit testing, we don't want this thing to happen. All we are bothered about, like whatever the response comes from this API, it's being set to the, this dot data. So we'll spy on this method also and return some fake response. So I'll show you how to do that also. So first, we need to create an instance of the service here. Fixture dot get debug element dot injector dot get and we can use spy on on this thing. C 
save config data and when the call goes to this thing what we'll do is we'll return we'll do a call fake we'll turn observable from this thing and now this observable will be some data that we return so the API call doesn't happen we are actually kind of like mocking the API call so we can return the data like message uh, let's say uh, status code 200 so now once we call this method after all these stubbing and all stubbing and spying and all what happens is uh, app dot data we can check like we expect the app dot data to equal this thing okay now let's try running the unit test cases here Okay, so as you can see, the both the test cases they are passing in fine. So I hope you understand like how to use Python in your Angular unit testing. We saw like uh, three use cases where we return a fake value instead of calling that particular method. We stopped the method whole together and uh, it just vanished. Uh, the, the call didn't happen. The third one we mocked, like we spy on spy on the service method and we returned a fake response. So I hope you find this uh, video on spy on method uh, useful. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.